pleasure to be here, ladies and gentlemen, to actually celebrate Jokan Realtors' 22-year journey. In better times, we would have been celebrating Jokan Realtors' 20-year journey two years ago. But as they say, better late than never. So Reggie's had this thing planned for about two years. Good on you, Reg. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we've actually restored freedom, freedom that now affords us family time, freedom to return to work and the joy to, to celebrate achievements. I've known Reggie for quite a number of years now, and I've seen his dedication and his drive to the real estate industry, which is actually hugely commendable. His honesty surpasses everybody that I know. What started with a vision to manage real estate property has now become a renowned real estate service provider and a household name in the industry. And like all successful businesses, built on strong values and strong ethics. I can say that these principles and leadership has actually brought Jokan Realtors to where it is today. Every sector has had its fair share of challenges, as we all know. But we have endured, and we've endured a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. And we've lived through natural disasters, and through it all, we've shown resilience. The real estate sector, as you all know, looks after our homes and our businesses, and they're a huge part of our economy. For the real estate sector to thrive, we need to work within the law. We need to bring in the right skills and the right discipline. And everyone has had to actually work smarter to find a solution so that every Fijian has the opportunity to one day own their own home. Real estate agents and salespersons play a major role in the revival of the sector. And as we progress with our economic recovery, Agents are essentially the ambassadors of the sector. So there is a great expectation to hold the highest standard of conduct, integrity, and professional standards. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government has actually worked very closely with the Real Estate Agents Licensing Board to modernize the, modernize the service that's been on offer. The Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism, together with the RIOB, has developed initiatives to ensure the real estate sector remains consistent, reliable, and of choice to its customers. Last year, I actually launched RIOB's rebranding initiative amongst other key projects that aim to foster a thriving, clean real estate industry. Their three-year strategic vision set specific priorities for the betterment of the real estate industry. We are developing a rigorous curriculum to enhance real estate agents and salespersons' quality of service, proactively creating awareness and advocating for best practices, and developing a code of conduct, and strategically reviewing the Real Estate Act. These strategic priorities, ladies and gentlemen, complement our aim of transforming Fiji. And we're doing this by increasing compliance, efficiency, and the quality of information to Fijians who are interested in the real estate business. We're developing a service-oriented culture, instilling confidence in the private sector and strengthening the foundation of a robust and sustainable Fijian economy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen cases of dishonesty, but we've also seen cases of trust. And it's where there is professionalism, consistent commission rates and customer service where we see that trust actually thrives. It is this trust that builds relationships, transparency, and is a good deal. As government, we will continue bringing about the necessary reforms and best practices that actually support critical sectors like the real estate yeah. sector. The revision or the revised 2021-2022 national budget design policy measures to actually support Fijians and businesses by addressing the challenges and providing a level playing field for operators. We have in place now the New Investment Act 2021 with the reopening of the international border. As just mentioned, Fiji is now the most sought-after destination for both tourism 
and for investment. The Investment Act provides a, a, a leaner and an easier to understand legal framework for both investors, for both domestic and for foreign. It, it actually also, at the same time, provides ample protection to micro, small and medium enterprises and aftercare and guidance will be provided by investment Fiji. So ladies and gentlemen, this is actually a perfect time for the industry to unite and focus their efforts in creating transparency and actually creating confidence. Confidence to enhance the importance of the real estate industry and what it represents. With more than 20 years of success behind you and your ability to stay afloat during the world's worst economic period presents a great foundation to propel you into a more successful future. Going back to tonight's event, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wish the management and the team of Jokin Realtors all the best for the year ahead. And I look forward to meeting you all at Real Bees National Workshop later on in May this year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minavale. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable uh, Minister.